Hey guys, how many of you have ever thought, you know, I'd really like to learn how to play the guitar, but I don't have a clue as to where to begin? Well, if that's the case, you're in luck, because that's exactly what we're going to cover next on today's bonus session of Manly Moments. Well, if I'm honest, even though I know a few chords, I've never had an actual guitar lesson in my life. So I'm certainly not qualified to teach somebody else how to play. That's why I'm so excited to have my good friend and guitar expert, Jordan Alumi, join us. Woo! Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going, Jordan? <laughs> it's good, Robbie. How are you doing? Jordan has some of the fastest fingers on the planet and can really tickle the twanger. Jordan, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your history with the instrument. Yeah, sure. Man, it's hard to believe I've been playing guitar for 16 years now. I started when I was in fifth grade, and I actually didn't want to play guitar. I wanted to play drums, but my mom wouldn't let me. She said, no, you have to play a different instrument. So she signed me up for guitar. Uh, she bought me a guitar, and I hated taking lessons, um, but I did it, and I didn't practice, but I, I found out I was picking it up really fast, and eventually I just fell in love with the instrument, and here I am today. Wow. Well, there are a lot of guys that look at the guitar and it's kind of intimidating and they don't know where to start. So I thought it might be fun if we began today with a little Q&A. Are you up for that? Yeah, I'm sure the, these guys, it's cool if they want to pick my brain. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, first question. If I'm a beginner, what kind of guitar should I get? An electric or an acoustic? Mm, good question. Yeah, you know, it just comes down to preference. The acoustic guitar tends to be a little rougher on your fingers, um, and so you'll find yourself aching and can't play it as long if you're just starting out. Uh, but it's good for, you know, soulful classical music or even um, Spanish guitar. But if you prefer kind of the sound of electric, uh, maybe that's the style you want to start with. It just depends. Luckily, the ladies like both. <laughs> so it's really personal preference. Absolutely. Well, where do I go to get this beginning guitar? And how much should I expect to spend? Yeah, that's good. I see people that just start out on guitar and they just drop a ton of money and I think that's just irresponsible. Uh, I would say if you, you're just now buying a guitar for the first time, don't spend any more than $150. And, and if you really want a good guitar for $150, try pawn shops. They always, people trade them like $400, $500 guitars. You can usually get them under $200. But I would never even, you know, if I just started out, I would maybe spend $60. You can go to garage sales or even Walmart. Hmm, excellent. Well, how long, how much practice will it take before I can actually become decent at playing the guitar? Yeah, that's a good question. I see this varies with different people. Um, some people can just practice a few times and just pick it up really fast, and others really have to work at it. For me, it was kind of more of a gifting from God, and I didn't have to put as much effort, but I, you still have to practice. You can't just expect to have this overnight. And so, uh, regardless of how much time you need to spend personally, it's going to pay off if you practice. Good advice, good answers too. But let's get to the fun stuff. Yeah. Are you able to teach me two or three chords today that by the time we're done I can actually play a song? I would say it's nothing to fret about. <laughs> Why don't we do it? <laughs> I'm just gonna teach you guys a simple three chord song. You'll be surprised how many songs use these three chords. The first chord we're gonna learn is a G chord. It's gonna sound like this. So if your guitar kind of sounds like this, it's probably not right. Uh, it starts with your middle finger, and you're going to put your middle finger on the third fret. That's these sections here. So third fret on the lowest string, so you get that nice sound when you're playing that. Then take your pointer finger and put it on the second fret on the next string. Finally, your ring finger is going to go on the highest string on the third fret, just like your middle finger is. And you'll strum all the notes. If you're getting kind of this sound, you're not pressing down hard enough. Awesome, let's go to the second chord. So when you move from this G chord, changing the chords is gonna be really tricky. You're gonna put your middle finger almost where your pointer finger is, but then bring it down a string. I find that that's easiest to do first. Then put your ring finger on the third fret on the second string. So you get that noise. Finally, your pointer finger is gonna to have to do its job. It's gonna be on the first fret, but not on the highest string, but the string before that. Make sure you stay on your fingertips so you don't get that sound, and it's gonna sound like this. Now when you strum this chord, you only wanna play the bottom five notes. The lowest note does not belong in this chord, so you're just gonna strum like that. The 
final chord we're going to learn is called the D chord. Now this chord's a little bit different than the others. You're going to take your middle finger and bring it all the way to the highest string and put it on the second fret. Then you're going to put your ring finger, put it on the second to last string on the third fret. And finally your pointer finger is going to go on the second fret on the third to last string. Now when you strum this chord, you're only going to strum the high four notes. So when you played a G chord, you strummed all the notes. When you played the C chord, you strummed only the five. This one you're going to strum four. And you got your D chord. Now for this particular song, we're going to go from the G to the C to the D to the C. And it should sound something like this. Well, that was kind of fun. Not too hard either. Yeah, you did awesome, Robbie. You Thanks. know what would be really cool? What's that? It's if we jammed out together. Really? Yeah. You know what? You, I'll let you use my really nice guitar. Let me use this one, and then I'll just solo, and you can play some rhythm. Play the chords I taught you. It's a nice guitar. <laughs> I broke the string. Hey guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you'd like a weekly dose of humor, truth, and encouragement, consider subscribing by clicking the red box below. And we'll see you next week for another installment of Manly Moments. Anybody seen my duct tape?